Okay, special little project clip here. Um, to add into the video. Uh, Brad asked in my solar tour video how this plug-in is wired up. Now, we'll start with the real easy part here. You can see how it's got the cord from the inverter that comes into the bottom. And the cord from the generator that goes into the top. So, from there, everything's in. The changes made, or whatever you want to wish to call them, are done inside. So we'll head over to the table, and I can show you this on uh, an extra set plug that I have like this. Receptacle, that's it. Okay, Brad, here you go. Here's your receptacle, as you know. Now, on each side, you've got them two bolts that your wiring can fasten to. Kniff here for a pointer. Um, get the right lighting. Now, in between them, there's a little bar that comes across here. This one's already cut, so it makes a pretty good example. Um, you can take a little set of side snips or needle nose pliers, and you can, they're desi actually designed so you can break that tab out of there. And it's like that on both sides. You can really see it well right here in this angle. Um, but you break that tab out. And then all you do is, um, mine as an example, my cord from the inverter is wired to these two. My cord from the generator is wired from these two. And you've got now got a separate plug. Make sure you use very clean connections, um, like so there's no strands of the wire overlapping. Other than that, that's all there is to it. Mount it in the box and everything, obviously, just like you would normally. You got your ground wire here to go to the box housing. But yeah, it's just two little tabs, one on each side, in between them. And the majority of plugs, like companies that make the plugs, receptacles, design them so they can be cut or broke out of there. So it's a really easy setup. And it comes in awful handy. It really does. Okay, I hope that answers your question on... The info you were looking for, Brad. And we'll talk to everyone soon with the other clips and stuff. Which I'm really not sure what all I have. I got a bunch of crap though. <laughs> okay, talk to you soon. Well, another overtime project to start working on. Um, I built these awesome little legs, like stands for the canoe to sit up on. As you can see, it's kind of rough. <laughs> um, this whole canoe's been through an awful lot. Dad's had to fix it a few times, but this ends really bad. Right at the edge there. So, what I'm going to do is clean up these broken patches. They, they did their job, but they sure didn't hold up over time. The canoe's been sitting for a few years now, so that didn't help either. But I'm going to get her all sanded down right from one end to the other, whole thing. And a nice fresh coat of fiberglass, cloth and all, of course. And... Make it as good as new. So we have a really nice canoe. Once it's done, I should get to work on that thing. It's been sitting a lot longer. It went through an awful bashing. So, but this is going to be the priority for the two of them. So, something to work on over the summer. 
crazy dog. Five million degrees out. He's laying in the sun instead of in the shade where it's nice and cool. There is a pretty good breeze, so it feels kind of nice, so I don't blame him. <laughs> I thought I'd share this. Got Little Red got another present. Got this awesome case. My dad got himself a new bike. So this was the Finder's P. It came with a couple of these cases that strapped down onto the rack. This thing holds a lot of stuff. And my laptop case fits in there quite nicely. It takes up a little less than half of it. So yeah, Little Red got another present. This thing's great. It's got six straps that hold it down. Heavy duty zipper. It's got these handles at each end for carrying it. So something I can load up in town. When I get back here, I can just strap it onto the rack and off I go. But the bike's running great too, so it's been doing awesome this year. And the little trailer is holding up pretty good. It's hauled quite a few nice loads of logs this week. And pretty good pile sitting there waiting to get cut up. It's Ellie Cam. Which is about to be interrupted by Alex Cam, because he's Mr. Jealous. <laughs> Such a pretty girl. And a handsome boy. A pair of troublemakers. <laughs> 